Hey all, Rise here, doing another English commentary for SE2GG.com, and was going to do this originally, but it's freaking freezing out, so I canceled my plans and going to do some commentaries. Hope you guys enjoy. This is the grand finals between Samsung Khan and Lecaf, or Lecaf, Uzi, Lecaf, Oz, I don't really know how they say it, but uh, just so you know, that's who's playing. And in the first matchup, we have Jadon versus Cute Angel, who is that guy right there. Cute Angel, you heard that right. Cute effing Angel. There is nothing cute about that guy. He should not be so calling himself Cute Angel. Jadong is more of a Cute Angel than that guy is. I hope Jadong Zerglings rips Cute Angel's legs off, embowels him, disembowels him, I should say, strangles him with his own intestines, and then wins. And wins, that's all. That's all I want. Cute Angel. I'm, I, I don't know if I can commentate this, guys. I got... I, I, I gotta call him Cute Angel the whole match. The hell is that? Anyway, Cute Angel <laughs> is in the 12 o'clock position, and Jadon uh, is in the 9 o'clock position. And I, I really think this, uh, this, this, even though I hate Cute Angel's name, it should be a pretty good match. Uh, because, first of all, it is the grand finals, so you guys, you know, these guys are playing for, you know, everything they got. They, they want to win this, they've come this far. There's nothing they want to do but win. So we'll see what happens. Jadong, of course, our champion for uh, I don't know how many months now. He is just tearing stuff up lately, and uh, I, I expect to see him continue doing that. And then you see here you see the Lecaf or Lecaf team, and uh, Jadong getting a scout in on Mr. Cute Angel, who, by the way, is not cute at all. Just want to make that clear. Jadon going for his fast expansion. Uh, Cute Angel, in the meantime. Uh, I should mention that these guys are playing on Ungoro, uh, which is a, a map that has a pylon at the choke points of the uh, between the natural expansion and the main. This way you can actually wall off using that, and I guess make an easier wall. Not everybody does it. Some people do it. I think more often than not, people don't do it. Uh, unlike Katrina, where pretty much everyone does it. Really, because you don't have a uh, that that natural expansion, or maybe you do. I don't know. Uh, no, you don't have that natural expansion that you do in those other maps, so it's not always worth it. Plus, you may even be able to get around that pylon. I'm not even sure. So, I've never played on this map, so just if uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I, I have no problem with that. Leave a comment or something like that. Anyway, uh, cute angel getting the scout in on Jadon, so he knows where he's at, and he sees the fast expansion and the third hatchery. Both of which, oh wait, no, I think he does have a spawning pool, and so he, he, he got a third hatch after a spawning pool. What he's been doing lately, on um, especially maps like Katrina, is going for a uh, quick three hatch before he gets a pool, which is kind of risky, but when people are going for fast expansions, it's, it's really not risky, it's a pretty good idea, actually. And uh, Cute Angel is, in fact, going a cute little fast expansion, and actually there you see him uh, blowing up that pylon, too pretty much showing how useless it really is. I, I've, I I really can't remember anyone even using it, so whatever. And Jadon just gonna macro up a bit, probably going to get... He, he pumped a few lings out. I don't think he's done any harassment with them. I think it was really just to get rid of a scout. And uh, you can see them actually running around on the minimap in his base. There's another artifact that I guess Cute Angel doesn't want in his base because it's not cute. So he's destroying that. And, uh, really not much happening as of yet. I, I can't tell if, uh, I don't, I don't know how long he's been mining gas for, so, uh, I couldn't tell you if it's a late layer or early layer or what, what have you. But, uh, oh, that was cool. It was a, uh, kamikaze drone killing the SCV. I, I like when drones get kills. And, uh... It looks like Cute Angel is deciding to do a little bit of pressuring on uh, uh, Jadong, actually. But that one sunken is going to easily take care of five marines without a medic, or six marines even. I think a sunken can take out something like eight marines, maybe even nine. I, I'm uh, pretty sure it's able to, especially if they don't have range. So, I don't think he's going to get very far with that. Uh, Lair going down. Also, we see an evolution chamber going down, which is interesting. Because...
because evolution chambers early on in the game usually points towards ultralisks. Uh, this way they can get their armor upgraded really early and, and really push home that advantage of the uh, plus five or plus four, what are the, what, whatever the armor upgrade is that an ultralisk ends up with, which uh, when taking marine fire that does something like six damage a shot or even less, maybe five. Um, unupgraded or even slightly upgraded, it kind of negates almost the entire um, attack from Marines. So you really need a ton of Marines to take down even one Ultralisk, especially an upgraded one. Uh, of course, Marines have upgrades by that point, so uh, they, they won't get completely ripped apart. But in general, the upgrade uh, really does put him ahead. And here we see a Spire going down now. So he's going to do a bit of a Muta Harass for sure. And Fruzine so far... Uh, uh, not prepared. I didn't see an engineering bay. Just two barracks. Oh, getting a third barracks now. And I'm not really sure if he's uh, if he's gonna have uh, if he has an engineering bay down yet or an academy. Well, sorry, I just saw firebats. So yeah, of course he has an academy. I don't think they've been doing a good job of showing his base. So Jadon gonna see this push coming out. He's gonna morph those into sunkins most definitely. Um, he's just gonna wait for timing reasons, I guess. Yeah, there he goes now. And uh, probably saving his minerals to the last minute. Bible of Destroying. <laughs> that's awesome. I wonder if that's a StarCraft book that someone wrote. I, I really don't know, but that's pretty silly sounding. Uh, especially in a StarCraft match. So anyway, cute angel lining up at the front door of Jadon. And Jadon pretty well prepared with those four sunkins, I'd say. Getting a Link Scout in, and he's seeing the fourth barracks and the engineering bay is down. Uh, good to see that for him, otherwise he'd be in a lot of trouble. I think that's a fourth hatchery going down for Jadon. And now I expect to see some mutas popping out shortly. Uh, those four sunkins, I, I like that line that he does. Basically that means that every single sunken is going to attack as soon as any unit is in range because it'll be in range of all four in order to attack just one. Whereas uh, that's not always the case if you don't build them like that. And here we have Cute Angel actually going in and attacking. Wow. And uh, doing a fairly decent job of uh, taking out these Sunkins. And Jadon going to be in a bit of trouble here. Uh, yeah. Actually, Jadon in a lot of trouble. Holy crap. This, uh, that's that's going to take all Sunkins down. And uh, some Hydralis out now. And, and Jadon in a lot of trouble. And you can say Lakehalf is, uh, as a team, worried. Most definitely about what's about to happen here. Uh, Jadon kind of underestimating cute angel a bit because he's so cute obviously and uh i think he's i think he's screwed i think this is going to be it for jadon i think this game is pretty much over he's going to definitely lose that expansion uh he has some hydras out but he's gonna not he's not gonna have lurkers in time i don't think uh jadon cleverly picking off lone marines which is important but uh with the way that he's being uh Reinforced. That's not going to do much. One. Oh, sorry. Okay. There is one lurker there. But again, one lurker uh, will not take out all those marines with a good scan and micro against the lurker. So cute angel actually uh, pulling one out. It looks like against the master Jadon, who, by the way, I, I'd have to call uh, a great Terran killer for that matter too, because he generally plays very well against Terran. And this is really surprising and disappointing to me. Five barracks going down now for uh, Cute Angel. And a couple more lurkers coming out for Jadong. But uh, too little, too late probably. Considering the cost of that uh, expansion that he just lost, he's definitely too far behind with the fact that Cute Angel has a uh, expansion fully running for quite some time now. And I don't know why the four sunkins weren't enough. I'm a little surprised to be honest. But, uh, but it was wasn't enough and now cute angel taking out those lurkers that's going to be gg one more lurker two or, or two more lurkers and, and shade on ggs against cute freaking angel how sad is that wow that's upsetting I would, if I was j I would walk over to Cute Angel and pretend I was about to bow and knee him in the face and say, change your freaking name. Okay, anyway. Uh, good match for Cute Angel. I'm, I can't believe j lost that. Apparently, he can't either. Uh, hopefully, the rest of the matches are a bit better. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I, I don't personally think it was that good of a game on either part, but... Uh, Oh my god, he did the cute angel dance. That was pathetic. Okay, I'm, I'm going to stop now. I can't watch this anymore. I'm going to vomit. 
So, talk to you guys later. See you in the next commentary. Bye.